What we're looking at here is my voiceover, which has been captured with the record level too low. I actually want it to look like this. So let's fix it. So the first thing I'm going to do is use a hard limiter, and that is to get rid of these spikes here. Here, you can see there's just a few points there where the audio has spiked up. What we really want it to look like is like this patch here, which is fairly consistent. And you can't have a gap of more than 100 or even 100 millimeters. And you'll notice that that was kind of peaking at around minus 20. So I want the whole of the file to be at minus 20. So if we bring up the hard limiter, we go to effects, amplitude and compression, and it's the hard limiter here. And you'll notice the hotkey is control H. At the moment, it is whatever I last used, which is minus 20. And we leave the input boost on the default setting of zero, look ahead seven and release time 100. If we hit apply, you'll notice all of those spikes have been clipped. We can use the next process, which is normalize. Go to effects, amplitude of compression, normalize. And again, that's got a hotkey, it's control alt N. And I don't want to normalize it to 100%. I use 90, so we apply that. You can see that that's evened it all out. And if we hadn't used the hard limiter in the previous step, it wouldn't have made it as even as this. It would have just normalized it to the highest point. So we're now in a good position. We've got a healthy record level, but we're also gonna have some noise as you will hear. If there's a discrepancy, you won't notice it. It won't all end up in one place. So you can see there's a lot of noise there and then a little bit of shuffling and a click. So we're gonna get rid of the noise. I'm going to select this area here so that we can have a listen to what the noise reduction sounds like because if I just played it from the beginning, I'd have to wait 20 seconds before we actually got to a patch of silence. So to speed up the previewing process, select a little bit of voice, a little bit of silence. So now we're gonna come down to effects, noise reduction restoration and Adobe Audition has a few options for getting rid of the noise. The best one I've found is this one that's just simply called Denoise. There are two presets. I usually just go for heavy noise reduction, leave everything else on default. And if we have a listen. If there's a discrepancy, you won't notice it. It won't all end up in one place. Now that straight out the gate sounds pretty good to me. And it's not perfect, but we run a channel called Skill Builder and we put three videos out a week and don't have time to finesse the audio that much. So that's gonna be perfectly fine for what we want. And it's gonna be used with some music as well. So now before I apply the effect, I need to make sure that I'm gonna apply it to the whole of the waveform. So I'm gonna use hotkey, shift control A which is deselect all. So you've got control A, select all, shift control A to deselect. So now I'm gonna apply the denoiser. And if we play it, you'll hear all end up in one place. That is pretty good. And there's a little bit of noise for the shuffling on the desk, but that's not a problem because after reducing the noise and raising the level, I am gonna go in and cut all of these bits out. So that is no problem. So now our audio is looking pretty much like the final edited version. Now that was a fairly easy fix. The audio was pretty decent. It was just recorded a bit too low, so it was no problem to fix that. Now I suspect in the comments, a lot of people are gonna be saying, use AI, there's some great AI tools out there, and that is true, I have played with them, but if you've got the Adobe suite and you've got Audition sitting there ready to go, this is a really easy way of doing it. So I'm Dylan Garten, join me for the next one. I don't produce a lot of videos, but hopefully the ones I do you find useful. So I'll catch you next time.